The year was 1984. The life of a freshman girl at Piscataway Township High School was about to change forever. This will soon come to be known as New Jersey versus TLO. One unsuspecting day, TLO was smoking a cigarette in the bathroom with her friend. A teacher was making his rounds through the hallway. That's when he caught T.L.O. and her friend smoking in the bathroom, red-handed. He ordered them to come with him to the office. Pushed into the principal's office, they were asked to confess what they have done. The friend of T.L.O. immediately confessed, however, T.L.O. herself denied. After being asked to search her bag, she said no. After further forcing, her bag was finally searched, and inside, drugs and other drug paraphernalia were found. The precise contents of her bag included rolling papers, a pipe, empty plastic bags, large quantities of money, index cards of names of people who owed her money, and two letters that implicated TLO in dealing marijuana. TLO was taken to the police station where she admitted to selling marijuana. Based on her confession and the evidence in her purse, the state of New Jersey brought charges against her. In a juvenile court, TLO argued that her Fourth Amendment rights against unreasonable searches and seizures had been violated. The court sided with the school, and TLO took her case to the New Jersey Supreme Court. The New Jersey Supreme Court soon found that the search was unreasonable and that the evidence could not be used. Unsatisfied with the outcome, the state of New Jersey appealed the decision to the United States Supreme Court. Simply said, the Supreme Court ruled that the rules dictated in the Fourth Amendment do apply to the school staff, unlike parents of minors. However, there must be a balance between the interest of teachers and administrators in maintaining discipline in the classroom and on school grounds. Therefore, they declared that the search did not violate the Fourth Amendment rights. In the end, the decision was 6-3 to three, issued by Justice White. They said that the vice principal had reasonable suspicion and probable cause to search TLO's purse. Schools have long been considered safe havens, places where children should be able to learn without fear. However, school violence seems to be reaching high levels these days. However, it is very difficult to address this problem because there is a fine line between protecting student safety and infringing on their legal rights. After the ruling of New Jersey versus TLO, many students realized what rights they actually had. The official rules are that school officials do not need to get a warrant before searching a student under their authority and that school officials do not need to follow the search requirement of probable cause to presume that a student is violating, has violated, or will violate the law. Whether a student search is legal depends on the reasonableness of the search in accordance with the circumstances surrounding the search. Nowadays, it is more important that we know our rights when it comes to privacy at school. With the sudden increase in cell phone usage over the years, our whole lives can be found through our phones. Schools do have the right to search our phones if they have probable cause. Therefore, we must be more careful than ever to make sure we are not breaking any rules and giving teachers excuses to go through our lives. As you can see here, there have been many similar cases since New Jersey versus TLO. However, we see that the ruling is not always the same. 